Hi, I'm Philip from Base10, and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Comfy UI project behind an API endpoint. So Comfy UI, let me bring it into full screen here, is this really cool tool for building image generation pipelines locally on your own computer with models like Stable Diffusion, ControlNet, that let you build some pretty cool stuff. And what I'm gonna do here in this video is talk about how you can get these projects off of your computer and into a hosted API endpoint so that you can share them with your friends or build applications on top of them. So this video is going to assume that you are already a Comfy UI user. I'm not really gonna talk through how to build this here, but it's going to assume that you don't really know anything about deploying these models and we're gonna walk through all of that. And by the way, I am going to show a whole lot of code in this video, a couple hundred lines. Don't worry about any of that. It's all going to be linked below in a blog post and in some GitHub repositories. So you don't have to worry about pausing and you know, typing it out. It's, it's all linked down below. So what I have here is a pretty standard, simple example project with Comfy UI that's going to use SDXL and it's going to use ControlNet to basically take a logo and create an image from it. Um, that image is going to have the, the logo embedded in it. And what I wanna do here is take this project and deploy it behind an API endpoint so I can use it in my app. So what I'm gonna do is to start off, I'm going to take a look at, um, oops, sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna take a look at what I have in my Comfy UI repository. So I have that repository clone locally, and then I have these models, right? Well, I've downloaded this SDXL model, I've downloaded this diffusion model, and that's gonna come in handy later. So in order to actually export my project so that I can use it as an API, I'm going to have to save it in this API format. If you don't see this option on your Comfy UI, uh, don't worry. Just click on this gear icon up here, click enable dev mode options, make sure that's selected, and then you're going to have it. Um, so when I click this, I'm going to get a file. It's going to be this big JSON file, you know, 100 lines or so. And this is going to be the file that my entire API is going to be built on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file and I'm going to bring it over to a truss. So where did I get this truss from? What is truss? Great questions. Awesome questions. Glad you asked. So Truss is a model packaging and deployment framework. It's open source. Um, we've been working on it here at Base10 for oh, about a year and a half now. Um, and it's, you know, kind of the underpinning of the whole platform. And we built this sort of Truss template um, that's going to let you take your Comfy UI project, put it into this template and run it as an API endpoint. So we're gonna, you know, clone this template from this trust examples again to actually, you know, follow along with all the code and stuff. Grab the blog post from the description. That's gonna give you what you need to copy and paste into your terminal. And we're going to add a couple things to it. So looking at this, you know, cloned trust, what we're going to do is first off, you know, we've got this config.yaml. It's got all of our Python requirements. It's also a little bit of infrastructure as code. It's going to specify what resources we need. And then we have this model.py that actually implements the model server, you know, loads up Comfy UI and runs inference with some, you know, helper code in here to make it more readable. So what we have to supply to this template is two things. Number one, we're going to need to bring in this Comfy UI workflow.json file um, that, we out, that we export from our Comfy UI application. And just gotta make sure that it's in this data folder and it's named exactly like this. So the template does come with this exact file in it. If you have your own that you're trying to deploy, just go ahead and delete this and replace it with yours. The second thing we're gonna need is this model.json file. And what this does is it, you know, basically replicates what we had in, if you look over here in Comfy UI running locally, we have these two models downloaded locally and stored in specific folders. Well, all we're gonna do is we're going to provide a URL, in this case to Hugging Face, where the online server can download this, um, as well as a path of where it would be stored locally uh, within Comfy UI. So again, if you're providing your own project, make sure that you're using the same models and that you follow this system uh, with setting up your model.json file in this data folder. 
So once you've got all that set up, we're going to want to push. So for that, um, we're going to go down to the terminal here and we're going to run trust push. Um, this is going to take our package model and deploy it to base 10. Um, if you don't have a base 10 account, you're gonna have to make one real quick, provide an API key. It takes like two minutes and we provide you plenty of free credits to get started. Um, if you are experimenting with this so much that you run out of free credits, just you know send me an email, I'll get you some more. Anyway, so once we get this deployed, and I am gonna cheat just a little bit here. Um, I've got this deploy set up already. It takes just a couple minutes, but I don't want you to have to sit, and wait, sit through it in the video. Um, it's gonna be running on a T4 instance, and um, that's like our smallest GPU that we have on the platform. You can run this on an A10, A100, uh, if you want to get faster results or do some batch inference. Um, but for now, T4 is great because it's cheap. Um, and with this up and running, the, the last thing to do is just invoke the API endpoint. To call the model, um, I got these values through this call model modal, um, created a endpoint URL, uh, created an API key with this button here. By the way, I did uh, revoke this API key by the time you're seeing this. So if you're trying to get in my base 10 account, don't bother. Besides, it's just a demo account, nothing to see there. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and run this script to invoke our model. Um, and when I go ahead and run this, you're going to be able to see in the model logs, the actual inference logs as this gets going. So it's going to load the model, load the two models, and actually run through this process. Um, it does take, you know, uh, a little bit, a few seconds, 20, 30 seconds to uh, make this output um, because it's running on this T4 GPU and it's running this whole comfy UI server in the back end. Um, so again, if you, uh, if you need faster results, we can just bump up to a bigger GPU. And in terms of the output that you can expect from this model, uh, once it finishes up, here we go. Um, we've got this uh, this forest top-down image, and the river is going to be in the shape of the base ten logo, um, just like in our example project um, in when when we were running locally. And yeah, we can see here that we're you know using this as the mask for the control net. So yeah, so this is how you deploy your Comfy UI project as an API endpoint. Um, it's a pretty straightforward task using the template that we provided in the Trust Examples repository. Be sure to check out in the description the blog post and GitHub repository. That's going to get you started. And if you're a Comfy UI user, you can take your projects now and deploy them on Base 10. Thank you so much for watching, and please feel free to reach out to me, uh, philip.kiley at base10.co, if you have any questions about this, uh, this stuff in this blog post.